Sean, we have a lot to talk about, obviously. Uh, let's let's start here. When did it start hitting you that you wanted to, to quit the game? Because unlike Hannah, it seemed from our perspective, it, it seemed to happen pretty suddenly. But maybe that was or wasn't the case. Tell us. Yeah, Dalton, thank you for asking that question. You know, I had moments that kind of surfaced for me, just little bits here and there that were like, wow, this is a great experience. I'm loving being out here because my whole goal in going on Survivor, and I've been honest about this the whole time, you know, with production and everyone was that I, it was this idea of reclaiming lost time. And there were bits of, you know, that surfaced for me throughout the game of like, well, is this really helping me to rewrite my past? But every time I felt that throughout the game, I'd kind of like push it down no, like I'm here for a reason, you know, push forward, push through. And then literally like, as I was walking into tribal council, it was like this inspirational revelation to me that was like, Sean, you don't need to erase your past. You need to learn how to embrace it. And for me, that was so impactful. And I was still like in the moment at tribal, you could see me. I'm like, I'm still pushing that down. I'm like, I'm here to play like Sifu. I'll be your pizza, you know, whatever you want me to be. I'm here for it. And when Jeff asked that question of like, what has this ex survivor experience meant for you? For whatever reason, that question just like immediately triggered in me this like automatic response. It was like, word vomit, honestly. I like didn't know what I was saying in the moment. It was just coming out very authentically and genuine. Um, and that's when it just all kind of came to a head. It's interesting because I don't know if you've had a chance to listen to Jeff's podcast yet, but he says that he felt it turned on that question also. He felt that you didn't, well, as he puts it, own the real reasons you're quitting. He said you romanticized it by saying it was about want to be with your husband. He thinks other factors were at play. What do you make of that assessment? Yeah, you know, I, I certainly, you know, respect Jeff's thoughts on the situation and how he was reading into it. You know, I think also about, you know, the fans out there and all of their opinions and thoughts. I have no expectation that anyone can understand why I did what I did because my decision was extremely personal. No one has lived a day in the life of Sean. And so I don't expect other people to understand it. Again, for me, it was about this realization that, you know, I came on Survivor for this purpose, reclaiming lost time, which admittedly was an unfair expectation to put on Jeff, to put on the Survivor crew, because that is a very tall order to say, hey, Survivor, like rewrite my life. It's an impossible ask. And but that was the mentality I had. That's what I was going into the game with. And so for me, when I realized like, oh, this is not that Survivor in that moment had fulfilled the measure of its creation for me. And I was at peace with that. And so, again, like it really was that question that Jeff asked that really was the hinge point for me. Um, but I would say my reasons were just different um, than maybe what others perceive. And that's OK. It's interesting, uh, Sean, you talk about how it all just was flooding out of you and you almost didn't even know what you were saying in, in the moment. Because one of the things you were saying is, I just want to go spend time with my husband rather than sort of stay in the game. Of course, you and I know that you don't get to go home when your torch gets snuffed. Instead, you go to Ponderosa and you have to be there. So how did that factor into sort of your thinking? The idea that I would leave the game and immediately see my husband, I think is something that people are like, uh, doesn't he know? Like he goes to Ponderosa. And of course, I knew that. Um, like I said, the it wasn't like this homesickness feeling. It wasn't like, oh, I miss my husband. I want to see him. So I'm leaving the game. That wasn't it at all. It was that Survivor had fulfilled its purpose for me. And I realized that what I expected to get out of Survivor, my whole intention of going was not something that was a reasonable ask. And so again, like I felt very at peace with my decision in that moment. I will say there definitely is, um, as I've been able to process this experience, come back from it, you know, it's been months since it's been filmed. I'll be honest with myself and with everyone else that there definitely is a intense feeling of regret about my decision. Um, and it's okay to have regrets. I mean, I wish I could have been more flexibly minded in that moment to be able to say like, hey, you know, 
Survivor. Like it's been a great experience. It's not really fulfilling what I initially came out here for. But now as a player of the game who loves this game, now I can turn up and play the game um, instead of asking for um, this you know, adventure of a lifetime, right? I wish I could have been more in that space. I just wasn't. And, you know, I have to find a way to come to terms with that. Clearly, and you've said it here, it was a very emotional decision. And we all know, all of us, we sometimes make emotional decisions and then later look back and then second guess it. And so I appreciate you being open and saying that you, you've, you've had that experience. So what has it been like for the past six months, sort of knowing this was coming, knowing this is going to air and then watching it back last night. I am just so glad that this episode has finally aired. It's finally out there because the past few months have been, it's been hard because, you know, I want to hype up the show. I'm still a super fan of the show. I love the show. I love Jeff. I love Survivor. I mean, everything about the experience was just absolutely magical. Best nine days of my life. Like seriously loved it. I've been through the past few months, just so excited for the show. You know, I just want it to air. I want people to see my story. Um, I just want it to be out there while also feeling that just within me, you know, that tinge of like, Oh, what's the reaction going to be? What are people going to say? What's it going to be like when it airs? Because you just don't know what the edit's going to look like. And so there has been a lot of anticipation around it. And now that it's finally out, I'm like, okay, that's like a weight off my shoulders. Was it hard to watch last night? You said you didn't know how it was going to look or come off on screen. You're relieved now that it's over. How was it during that hour of television uh, viewing last night? It was intense. I was definitely, you know, Matt and I, my husband, we were watching with like bated breath, like what is going to be shown? What's going to happen? But I was actually, I was really comforted in knowing that this whole season, the editors of the show and Jeff, they've put together such a beautiful story that I really feel like has captured the authenticity of the show in the moment that it was happening. And so I really felt confident that um, the same would happen for my story as well. You know, you went through a lot out there. I mean, your tribe lost every single immunity challenge and the marooning challenge. There's a lot of drama on Lulu. You got blindsided by the survival vote. And then maybe you're on the bottom again when the tribe swap. Had you had like an easier or less terrible survivor experience and been on Bello or Reba at the beginning? Do you think you're still asking to be voted out or are you maybe just getting excited and counting down the days to the merge? Great question, Dalton. I have thought about that as well. Like, was what my decision informed by my survivor experience? And I definitely did not have the survivor experience I imagined I would. Um, loved it nonetheless. But as I reflect back, I actually do think that my decision would have been different had I possibly been on a different tribe with more winning potential and earnings. Because for me, it was in those moments of failure where I sat in my failure and reflected on, you know, just how did I get here? What led me to this point? you know, why am I here? And it just like the, that thinking um, and that reflection, I think were during those times where like those like uh, moments for me bubbled up of like, oh, like, is this fulfilling my need, my core of why I'm here um, that I would eventually like push down, you know? So it was those moments of failure that I think uh, brought those things to my mind. Let's get into the little like sort of like logistics and questions and play a little almost game of what if in a sense. When Hannah quit, she basically told you and Lulu tribe she would essentially walk out if you all had kept her. What would you have done if they had followed Dee's lead and kept you and voted Sifu out at that tribal? What would your move have been? I do respect the show in that, like, I feel like tribal council is the formal way to be voted out. Honestly, like if Sifu was the vote out, we go back to camp. I have a moment with the Reba girls and, you know, I would have stayed until I received a vote out at tribal council. I also believe that if I wasn't voted out and went back with the girls that, you know, that's just more time for me to consider like, you know, my decision and was that the right thing? And I think like with time, I would have maybe come to this place of like, you know what? No, like 
I want to play this game. I love this game. I'm here to play. And so again, that moment of tribal council just really completely got me. And I ended up getting myself, if that makes sense. It totally makes sense. Did, what did you think was going to happen at that tribal? Jeff in his podcast said he thought maybe when he asked you that question that then you took that as a cue, like, oh, it's me. Did you feel like it was going to be you voted out or did you think it was going to be Sifu? I did not think it was going to be me. No, I yeah. absolutely did not think it was going to be me. I thought it was going to be Sifu the whole time. I had many conversations with D, Julie, and uh, Jay about um, the vote. And I felt very reassured, um, very confident that Sifu was going to be the vote that night. When Hannah asked me voted out, Probst kind of just verbally checked in with everyone and, and you guys didn't vote. Why did that not happen here? Or did he do a verbal check in and that didn't make the episode? Or why do you think this situation was different? Or maybe it wasn't. I think the situation was different um, because Hannah, you know, I love Hannah. Um, she throughout the first three days was talking about very openly at camp, like, I don't know if this is for me. I want to go home. Um, so she had been talking about it. For me, I had had some thoughts throughout the game, but I never, I never expressed those thoughts. So the very first time that any of my tribe members, that Jeff production was hearing me talk about even leaving was in that moment at tribal council. And so I think um, it was very wise of Jeff to put it to a vote because um, there was no like, you know, preconceived idea that I would ever leave the game. I think that's why we went to the vote, which I think was appropriate. Anything else, Sean, that happened out there that didn't make it to TV that you wish we had a chance to see? Even at 90 minutes, they have to cut like 99% of the, of the show out because there's just not enough time. Was there anything that we didn't get to see about your journey that you, you wish we had a chance to check out? Just the amazing connections with the people on my tribe. Like I really made some authentic, genuine friendships. I mean, D and I had like so much like great, great conversation. Same with Julie and Jay. Sabaya and I obviously were really close, but we had moments that were like really fun between us that uh, weren't shown. Caleb, Emily, I mean, Hannah, Brandon, all of them. So um, I wish more of like my connection with uh, my amazing tribe members could have been shown. 